so nice to be uh peek into you. Oh wow, there are a lot of people here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um Oh, there are more people joining. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Hi everyone. It's really good to be here. It feels like it's been ages since I I mean it has been ages since I've done one of these been on discord mm -hmm. oh here we go we're in and then you can see everyone freaking out <laughs> oh whoa <laughs> hey oh the eagle is back eagle can i call it an eagle human eagle yes the eagle eagle <laughs> eagle <laughs> and, uh, eagle or the the e eman the eman Wait, the E-man. <laughs> Both sound equally kind of creepy. <laughs> oh my! Where did? What? Can someone explain to me the the background of the the eagle? No, I, I don't think. I don't think there is a background. It just exists. There isn't a background. It just popped up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah pre it's pretty exists. much. It's so nice to be here, and it's so nice to speak to you all. Thanks for coming. Woody says hi as well. He's chilling. He's managed to calm down. Um, he was being very hyper up until about 45 seconds ago. Very nice. All right, we got our first uh, Good, question right. in. Well, we got our first, first user. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Who's there? Oh, awesome. Hi. Um, my name is Samantha. Can I just ask my question? Yeah, you can introduce yourself hey. a bit first as well. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't really know what to say. My name's Samantha. I've been a huge fan of glass animals since, I don't know, like years now, since I was in high school. Um, you're Whoa. like my favorite of all time, one of my favorite songwriters. Um, and oh. I guess my question is that, um, oh, and I've seen you in concert twice. Um, oh my God, where? Yeah. Um, in Boston at Leader Bank in September, and then also Boston Calling this past year. Oh, wicked. Yeah, that was fun. That was, I, I was just playing yeah. to a lot of... I think you might have been the only person that wasn't a Metallica fan there, maybe? Probably. I came <laughs> no, was, for Glass good. Animals. I When uh, I was telling people that I was going to Boston Calling, I kept calling it, like, the Glass Animals concert because I was literally <laughs> just there for you, so... Oh, no, it was wicked. It was wicked. There's a, just a, a lot of Metallica fans who are quite intimidating to begin with. But they, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they started oh, hopefully yeah. smiling eventually. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm being distracted. What was it? Did you have a question? Yes, I did. So I guess one like common theme or motif that I've noticed in your lyrics have been references to like watching TV specifically like in season two episode three tangerine and also uh fantastic which you did with flume so i was wondering if there was any thing specific that inspired that kind of common thread i reckon i don't know i think tv tv is i, li I like films i like tv but i tend to I tend to think with tv it's almost like it's almost sometimes more it's more long form than a film i feel i feel like films sometimes are like short stories and tvs are like novels and you can really develop characters and i love i love that about television you can really kind of get stuck into a character's development over the course of a, a tv show over the course of a couple of series and i've always thought yeah kind of out albums are a bit like books sometimes so I've, i don't know i've always seen a kind of parallel between the two and then there's some TV shows that really curate and care about the music, and I get re I get really into that when it's done when it's done really well. I don't know. There are lots of things I love about TV. Um, it can be completely passive, and you can, you can just sit back and like watch it and let, let it watch over you sometimes, or you can get absolutely 100% fully involved and invested in it. It's yeah, it serves all purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Do you like that? What's what's your favorite show? Ooh, 
Good question. I am a huge fan of TV. Um, my favorite show of all time would probably be the show Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which is like a musical comedy. I don't know if you've heard of it, but if you appreciate how music is done in That's TV I shows, thought. I think that is a really good exemplar. Oh, uh, wicked. All right, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. I, th I wonder if the, the other thing is I didn't have a TV when I was growing up. Like I wasn't allowed to watch oh, no way. TV. Yeah, yeah. So like, I think it's it's something that is like, I don't know. To me, is like some. <laughs> I don't know. It's just special because of that. I never really got to do it when I was yeah. so as soon as as soon as I moved out um, of my mum's house, I was like, finally, I can watch TV, and it. <laughs> yeah. It was, that's it was, so funny because I didn't grow up with cable either. Oh, yeah. really? That's funny because, yeah. So I feel like I'm the same as you. Where now that I'm like an adult and I've access to all these streaming services, I watch a lot of TV, trying to make up for that lost time and all the TV I never watched as a kid. Yeah, no, that I mean that's basically what I'm doing. I love that people can really create a kind of universe <laughs> in a TV show. You, it's it's harder to do that in a film because it's it. The film is I, okay, I completely cool. agree. I completely yeah. agree. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. No, I love that about I love that about TV shows. But it's just me. It's just me. Some people prefer yeah. movies. Um, but you'd be wrong. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I agree. Movies. I'm a big TV over movies as a storytelling format person. But I could probably talk the ear off about TV forever. So I'll hand the mic over to the next person. Oh, that was a good question, Samantha. Oh, it got me thinking. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to check out Crazy yeah, Ex-Girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Next person. That is a good one. Coming in now. Hey. Everyone seems to love The Good Place. Everyone's saying it in the chat, and that is always like... Everyone's telling me about it. I need to, I need to get stuck in. The Office US is incredible. Right, we got our next speaker in. We got Rach, so you can feel free hey, to Hey, Rach. Rach. I'm really good, thanks. How are you doing? Oh my god. I'm so, how it was was it alright? School alright? I mean it it can be. It can be. But welcome back you, after um... school. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Don't be silly. That's so. That's amazing that you. How did your mum find it? Well, awesome. cool, mom. <laughs> no, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Um, oh yeah, what's your question? So, like the biggest challenge of our career, you think? Did you did you ask? Oh, it's tricky. Um, I'm trying to think. I think the biggest I mean the biggest worry that I have and have always had is waking up and not having any ideas anymore maybe that's not the biggest challenge but it's definitely the biggest worry but you kind of just have to forget about that voice what is the biggest chat I'm trying to think of other big challenges that we've had um being away from friends and family a lot that is tricky because I'm quite mm -hmm. close with with my friends and my, my mom um 
but the internet is a godsend for all of that. Uh, slightly annoying because my mum um, has worked out how to do FaceTime very badly. Sometimes I just get a view like up, up her nose or something, but um, she calls me relentlessly. Um, what other big challenges are there? I don't know. We've, I think, I think we've been quite lucky in a lot of ways. Yeah. Oh, no, no problem. You know what? Maybe one of the biggest challenges was releasing an album in a pandemic. That was really tricky. That was tough. Just because it's your baby, you know? An album feels like you're kind of kid. And um, I guess I was really frightened that it would just not survive in the pa <laughs> in the pandemic. Um, but yes, yeah, so that, was, that was really, yeah, that was a scary moment. Thinking the album might never come out or uh might not really survive because of the the pandemic but it was okay in the end Just overcome it by focusing and yeah um trying new things that's the best way to overcome that kind of thing trying to we tried loads of new stuff and did loads of tried to release songs in crazy ways yeah it was fun it was fun yeah ended up thriving in the end so <laughs> can't complain yeah. about that yeah all right, awesome. And it kept us busy. It was great. <laughs> Thanks so much, Rachel. Oh, it was lovely to meet you. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, it was crazy yeah. how uh, releasing Dreamland during the pandemic, but everything you guys did ended up making it uh, really incredible in the end, especially with, like, the... Uh, uh, the uh, stream stuff, like the live in the internet. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad people liked it. We've. Um, oh, I can't. I'm not going to say anything else. No it's, leaks. Yeah. <laughs> no leaks. No leaks. <laughs> um. Yeah, missing Woody. Big challenge. Mm. Massive challenge. Miss that kid. I'm on tour. Um, Who looks after him when you're uh, on tour? My mum takes him a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know what else was a big challenge? Is playing like I, I really hated being in front of people mm. and performing. I had really, really terrible stage fright. Oh yeah. Um, and that was a big challenge. Yeah, it, it was quite tricky to get over it. You yeah. Have to kind of, I've I did lots of open mic nights. Oh really? That, yeah, 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 secretly just did open mic <laughs> nights and played like acoustic songs and st just random stuff. What sort um, of uh, random rounds was that? Would that would have been uh, during like Zabra era or like How to Be a Human Being era? Yeah, that was uh, just probably just as Zabra was coming out and we were starting to play a lot of live shows and there were tours coming up and I was just I was so nervous going on stage that I thought I better get get over this and eventually if you do it enough. You, you you do get accustomed to it but it is it is hard yeah I bet it is really tricky open mic nights are almost harder yeah they, they're they quite intimate there's like very few people yeah yeah really intimate and yes I should have done stand up stand up comedy that would have been a <laughs> <laughs> I think some people pay some good money for that <laughs> <laughs> it'd be so bad uh, but um, yeah that was tough Mm, yeah that was a tough one but you guys put on a, an amazing show so <laughs> the practice paid off so <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm glad people enjoy it it's really fun it makes it easier doing it with your mates as well oh yeah for sure I think of more challenges I don't know even so, like Yeah, singing in front of people's hard, mm. but we're also we're like writing, writing, writing songs can be tricky too. Writing personal songs that's tough. It's a tricky one. Very, I don't know. I'm quite shy. Yeah. 
It's I'm quite shy, so there's uh, a lot of getting. When you're up on the stage, you don't seem like you're shy, <laughs> so. No, that, but that, I don't know. It's, you just have to like embrace it. You have to really mm -hmm. focus on the fun, like how much fun it is and try and forget the fact that you're like singing in front of people. Just, it's quite a mad thing to be doing. Yeah. Every once in a while I look over at Joe and I'm like, wow, this is mad. What's that? All right, we got the next question in finally. Hey, right, very nice. Hey. Hey. Hey, Hi. how's it going? <laughs> Good, thanks. Um, my name's Christian. Sorry, like, hear me out. I'm like, it's 3 a.m. here. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh, yeah. sorry to keep you up so late. <laughs> oh no, I'm very happy to be here celebrating World Peanut Butter Day and talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I did have peanut butter yeah. for breakfast, actually. I'm actually not a big fan of peanut butter. But what? The peanut, the peanut butter vibes, you know. <laughs> okay just the, just the vibes yeah <laughs> all right that's good enough that's Anyways. good enough <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so anyways my question <laughs> is sorry <laughs> no it's um, all right <laughs> i believe yeah, you don't so, have peanut butter that's that's sorry to disappoint you i'm, I'm really sorry I'm so disappointed in you no i'm, I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so Dreamland was sort of made under different circumstances to the previous albums with you, like, writing a lot of songs, like, sort of, like, reminiscing and writing a lot of the songs, like, really personally. So now that the band is back together, I'm sort of wondering how, like, how do you think that that's going to impact the sound of the music that you make going forward? And do you actually prefer making music with the band or do you prefer, like, creating demos and things sort of by yourself? Um, I mean, I find it really, I find writing songs quite, like personal songs especially, really, it's really difficult. So I've always kind of done little, de done the little demos and then build up a lot of courage and then show them to the other guys and kind of get yeah. there. And, th and then we go from there and we, either, we tend to like experiment with the demos. Um, and sometimes we end up, like there's some songs that kind of end up being really similar to the demo on the album and there's some songs that move a fair bit like i think yeah um yeah. like your love changed quite a bit but heat waves didn't really youth didn't was kind of similar to the demo and life itself changed quite a lot in the studio with the guy i don't know i can't i i think i just find the like that initial like uh i don't know the fetal stage of the song like it is really personal and it's yeah. it's quite it's quite scary so i do um, and i do like doing that bit that little like bit on my own and it quite often happens at a really weird time like usually I wake up at like four in the morning and have like a little idea for a song and i have like a couple of words and some a melody to go with it and maybe some and the chords it happens quite quickly yeah. um so, so yeah that that kind of initial phase happens really fast the chords and the melodies and quite a few of the lyrics usually come within like i don't know an hour or something and then yeah. i'll have a little a little baby baby demo ready to show the the gang yeah that's really cool so i guess sort of when like moving forward like things aren't going to change a whole lot from the process in terms of like compared to dreamland no i don't think they'll change too much i don't know we'll see we'll see i'm always i'm always open to experimentation and um i, I think that but the, i think that kind of initial phase will probably always stay pretty similar just because it's when i don't know that's when yes yeah. how i'm what I'm, how i'm most comfortable it obviously works right <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it feels like it doesn't. That's the thing. But yeah, I think yeah. that initial initial little moment, those initial moments, will will stay the same just because that just seems to be how it happens. Um, yeah. But that it could be that the yeah, I don't know. The, the kind of later phase might might be subject to the change. Maybe we'll get in 
No, we did that. We did that solar power cover and had some backing singers come in, and they were amazing. Oh yeah. Um, that, that's so that sad. kind of that was actually. Know. All right. Yeah, that was one of my Thank favorite you. covers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Collaborations were really fun. <laughs> Well, oh, thanks, man. That was a good question. Moving, but thank you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm rambling. <laughs> Please play Paul's live. <laughs> oh, yeah. All I, right, I would like to play Paul's way. live. There's one band member who doesn't want to play Paul's live necessarily. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Hello. Hey, how's it going? How are you? I'm good. I'm at school right now, actually. <laughs> You're at school right now? Yeah. Uh-oh. I have class in, in like half an hour. No, I'm not in class. So. Oh, okay, okay. I don't feel so bad then. As long as you're not like... Yeah, yeah. Your... You know. <laughs> or something. No, but if I was in class, I still would have joined, probably. <laughs> really? Can you get away with that? I mean, I'm in university, so... You know, they don't oh, really yeah, ask you when you right. get up and walk out of the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, fair enough. Um... But yeah, I just want to. I saw you in concert in um in Toronto in August, and I brought my family, and it was like all of their first concerts. So I just want to say thank you because I don't know they've oh. never like really liked like live music, but like oh what I don't know they were interested enough to actually come with me. Oh, and yeah, amazing. it was like it was my fifteen year old sister's first time <laughs> to go to a concert. Oh, my so God. yeah. It was really the, cool, and they really liked uh, it. So they all had fun. Okay, that's good. I was gonna say, yeah. what if they all hated it. That could have been. No, that would have been bad. No, they loved it, and <laughs> I think even after now, like when we're in the mall or something, like my dad will be able to recognize if like one of your songs they're playing. Oh, so it's whoa. actually really, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, thank you for bringing them all. That was such a fun show. I remember that show really well. That was mega because yeah, it was meant it was to happen really in, in that like a slightly in that mm -hmm. venue history. And then it yeah it bumped up to that that big space. It was pretty yeah. It was, it was I like nervous. that venue better though, actually. What the the uh, the hockey the venue? It's like a hockey arena. Yeah, the it was a Coca Cola Coliseum. That's it. Yeah, that was it. Was wicked. Mm -hmm. Feels big though. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. Intimate. <laughs> you did great though. Oh, it was wicked. Sorry, did I? <laughs> did you, I didn't want to um, distract you from a question. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, so my question was like, is there a song that you like love so much that you wish you wrote? Good question. I re like, I play this kind of this game with myself where I'm always asking myself like the three my three favorite songs um, that I would hear if the world was going to end. The three songs I would try to listen to before the world ended, um, and so those songs would probably any of those songs there's otis redding sitting on the dock of the bay i absolutely love that song he didn't even finish that song he was mm. um he really sadly passed away before before he finished it that's why he whistles the last verse um he was gonna write some some lyrics for that bit i really love that a lot of nina simone songs that i'm obsessed with um, it's a Beatles song called A Day in a Life. I absolutely love that. I'm a big Beach Boys fan. A lot of Beach Boys. Uh, but I'm, I should try and choose one, shouldn't I? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to sit with Otis Redding and um, <laughs> Dark of the Bay. I just think it's such a it's such an incredible song. Or no, I'm going to stick with that. That's the one. That's my. That's <laughs> right, like awesome. that song is you, stuck you. with me for my whole life. A good question. All right. How's it going? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I've finally been able to get into the studio and kind of make some sounds over the last uh, week, which has been really, really fun. It's been wicked. Oh. We're all big fans of Spa. We're all big fans of Spa. That's true. Just Park like... great. Mm -hmm. 
you should do the next might... the next question and answer session. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> what was your question? Sorry. Oh, well, um, feels like a different lifetime, weirdly, but, uh, I guess I was, I was always really, really into music. I just always thought that music, like I was like, my mum was very much like a, she was in, she worked in science, um, in biology. And I guess she, like, she kind of always wanted me to be a doctor, do something vocational. So I never thought that. Um, so I've got hiccups. Um, I never thought that doing something like music was an option as a like a career, a job. So I was always just doing it as a hobby, and I'd be doing the medical school stuff and doing stuff that you do at university, like going to see a lot of live music. And um, I'd get back from seeing live music, or I was actually DJing a little bit to try and make some cash on the side, uh, and you get back from DJing and going to see a see see someone live and you'd kind of be buzzing from the adrenaline. So that's when I started, you know, those late nights when I got back from those situations when I start started making music just late at night. I think that's kind of why the first album sounds quite like um quite nightly and shy and quiet. It's cause I was like I was basically making it in a dorm room next to loads of other people that I didn't want to keep awake so it's just like whispering and making really quiet noises it was fun and i learned so much from from medical school um yeah it was really interesting i was really into the psychiatry and um learned a lot about people and really enjoyed that I was I was fine at it. I was good. I was good enough, but music just took over. I'm all oh, glad it okay. did. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I, me too. In the end, all my friends who kind of finished seem really, uh, really stressed. <laughs> You're shaking. Wait. What? Say you say your name first, and then I'll repeat it because I don't want to get. Uh, okay, okay. I don't right. want to pronounce it wrong. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Harlow. Right. Lovely awesome. to meet you. We'll get the next question on. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey, yeah. what's up? Uh, I need to... Sorry, can I put on my headphones for a second? It's really quiet. Oh, it's quiet? Yeah, no worries. Um, I don't know if my speaker's off. Can you give me, like... Uh... Okay, you wait. Can you hear me to speak louder? Hear everyone okay? Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, hello, Dave. I was not expecting to be chosen. Um, uh. That caught me by surprise. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, um, okay, so I've met you like twice now. Um, so th th no pressure to remember me. But uh, last time <laughs> we spoke was in uh, London, um, that uh, Village Underground show. Oh that my was god! Such a good show. Yeah. Yes. Hey. I. Yeah. 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 I'm the. T I mean, the, the profile picture doesn't help, but I'm the tall one. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. And then I saw oh, you my... in like Paris and Reading. I don't know if you remember that. I. Uh, I do. I remember all of these. I remember all oh, these. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So, um, Reading was insane. First of all, like seeing you guys at a festival for the first time. That was like so cool i was just i was like second oh, row was... i was it was insane honestly that was such a crazy that was a crazy moment because i was just like Whoa. grew up going to that one that festival yeah yeah so, no yeah. and then paris when you played poplar street after i like asked you to play it as well i was just like i don't <laughs> i don't this is for me i don't care i was like <laughs> probably oh. pre-decided but i'm just like i'm taking this for myself <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we got that one in. No, that was fun. No, that honestly, was fun, Paris. Yeah. That was like one of the very last shows we did. 
I think we yeah, had like yeah. two shows after that, maybe both festivals. So that was the last headline show. Yeah, it was really cool. I feel very lucky to be able to like have experienced so many different venues with you guys. Uh, we felt no, like I kind of toured with you more yeah. soon. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So actually, that kind of links to my question. Um, basically, um, so how are the set list? How are they decided? And like, would you ever consider doing a tour of like exclusively old songs? Ooh, that is a good question. The set list is decided. We kind of. It's hard because some sort of like some songs go into each other better than others, so it's quite sometimes. Mm-hmm. There are a few places where, you know, you end up having to keep clumps of songs together. But mm. what we did on the last tour is we kind of found those songs that sat well together. And then we kept those together and kind of sw- swapped songs in and out in between them. Mm, you see what I mean? Yeah. To, keep, to keep, mix it up a little bit. Keep it interesting. Um, People yeah. like me who just <laughs> spent all the money on you guys' concerts. <laughs> No, don't do that. But it was, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough because everyone has, like, there's some songs, for instance, like Tangerine is really hard for Joe to play. So there's mm. some songs that we can't play immediately after. Like, if two songs where he finds it really difficult is maybe a bit, it's, it's too much for him, especially after his injury. So there are certain yeah. songs, and there are certain songs that I find it really hard to sing after, like, if there are two songs that are really, really high vocally, it can be really troublesome to put them next to each other yeah um, that makes sense. and there's a kind of risk of losing your voice after the show which would mess up the next day cancel the next show so yeah there is a little bit of like having to be technical about the selections mm-hmm. a lot goes into it <laughs> which is why yeah. sometimes when we've kind of found a couple of set lists that work we tend to like alternate stick with between it them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah yeah so are there any That's like that. songs that you like miss like that you haven't done yeah. in a while there are a couple of songs. I missed season two, episode three. Oh, but yes. that, that's really hard for uh, Joe to play. Um, so I totally appreciate that. And it's really mm-hmm. hard for Drew, Drew to play as well, actually. So, so I totally appreciate mm-hmm. that. You know, maybe we'll bring that back next next tour. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. I miss, I miss some of the... Sorry, I've got hiccups again. Um, what did I... I miss like I do miss Pools. That would be that was. Oh, I fun. love Pools. That was like my top song last year. <laughs> oh what? Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I miss yeah I miss that one and uh, I'm trying to think what else I miss some of the like I, I weirdly I don't know I miss some of the like psychedelic stuff from the first album a lot. That was really that yeah. was always really fun to play. We could sort of wig out and. Yeah no, I'd love to go to like a Zabba around. show. Yeah, we. I mean, the ten year anniversary is coming <gasps> up. I don't oh know. My gosh, we'll please, see, we'll see. <laughs> no, that might no take more. a lot of convincing. <laughs> I shouldn't say anymore. Yes. I shouldn't say anymore. But that is. It would probably take a lot of convincing of the other guys, but I'm. I'm not against it. That's all I'm going to say. Awesome. All right. Well, That's we'll, a very good we'll, time. We'll uh, move on to the next question. Uh, so. Yeah. So thank you so much, Thanks, Dave. Sarah, Carla. It's all right. Thanks, Carla. Yeah. See you soon. See you soon. All right, this next one uh, we're going to be asking on their behalf. Um, uh, Atlas has asked, in honor of one of the most important holidays, what's your favorite way to consume peanut butter? So in cookies, sandwich, straight oh. from a jar with a spoon, anything goes. What's your What's your favorite? That is a really hard question, but I am going to say peanut butter cookies. Are... Mm. I just love them but actually you know, i'm gonna change this i've discovered a new peanut butter ice cream um hold on let's see Drop if i the can brand find name. it <laughs> wow <Well, laughs> i think it was a ben and jerry's one mm. it was a peanut butter cup one and i just i literally ate the whole thing in one well i say one i ate it in like three minutes the whole thing yeah that was absolutely bumping wonderful ice cream and cookies Mm. oh yeah good choices good choices oh yeah let's bring in the next one what do we have such a 
child. Um, it's like the answer of a two-year-old or something. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hi, hi, Dave. Um, oh my god, I'm sorry. It's like twelve a.m. here, so I'm like, I'm like oh, you tired? Quiet. Mm, not really, but my family's asleep behind me, so I'm like, oh. I hope you can hear me well. Okay, well, yeah, we'll whisper. It's okay. It's okay. So my question is, um. So, were there ever any plans to do more music videos for the How to Be a Human Being album? Like, I remember the first watching them years ago and hoping for another connecting music video. You know how, like, youth and, I, you know, how oh, they're connected. Yeah. Like, were there any other plans? Because I was hoping for one for Other Side of Paradise, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, we actually had, like, I guess because we had them all cut, like, we cast them all as, um, as people, as actors. And those are the people you see on the on the cover. Um, yeah. That we yeah there was there were sort of ideas of music videos that we could do for each of them. Um, Interesting. We pushed through. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's it's uh, this is gonna, this is an insight into the music industry, but it's <laughs> it's hard to make a music video because they're they're not they're expensive. Um, oh. So you kind of have limited amounts of, uh, yeah, uh, limited budget in in those things. That's oh, yeah. Otherwise, we would have made infinite. But it, yeah, they they're, they're really expensive. Oh, well, what was your favorite one to make though from that album? Ah, uh, you know, I mean, in retrospect, I quite liked the Agnes one just because I thought it was like quite. I don't know. I thought the i the idea was interesting. Um, I, re- I I did like I hated doing it at the time because it made me feel so sick, and I thought I was going to throw up the whole time. But I re- yeah, I really I really liked doing that one. Um, I didn't like doing that one, but I I liked the idea of that one. Um, and what other videos? Was that? The heat waves one was so heartwarming to do just because it was peak covid and everyone was locked in and then i got to see everybody like leaning out of their windows and talking to each other it was just like it was proper magic i kind of wish the video had captured even more of that for sure every time you talk about it you feel like I, there's this like radiance in the, in the way you talk about it like how many takes did it even take like did you go back and forth in the road or or yeah i did well we only had time to do it twice um, just because we wanted to shoot it while the sun was setting, and also we were kind of depending on a lot of people, um, a lot of people's like time. There were a lot of people leaning out of their windows filming it. You know, we weren't really filming it ourselves. We had one camera at the f- top of the road that was filming me from the front, but we did, we wanted to be respectful of everyone's time. Yeah, it really is beautiful. <laughs> I, I yeah, I really enjoyed enjoyed doing that one just because I liked. Meeting all the people it was wicked. For sure. Uh, thank you, Dave. And oh. from the Philippines. Oh, yeah, I'd love to the Philippines. And that was a really good question. Time, but we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait. Uh, well, we've uh, we've actually been talking. Yeah, I can't say anymore. <laughs> we're talking about well, stuff. Yeah, sure. That sounds promising. <laughs> thank you, Dave. Thanks so much. It was a good question. Hey, yep. yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Oh my god, I like your um avatar pick what's it called? I can't Oh, um, that was really good. I mean all of you guys have helped me in a lot of ways too. Oh, that's a good question. I mean, I Agnes is, is probably like I've got a soft spot. It's very, it's really personal. But then, um, I don't know. I always, I always thought "Take a Slice" was slightly underrated.
Oh yeah. wow! Did that one then? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just like I, it's a. I like that character. Yeah. Oh whoa! Someone's made a blanket. Cool. That's amazing. I'm liking that one. Wicked. Yeah, I love that with the lyric. But I'd take a slice and um, take a slice. Yeah, I like take a slice. And cane sugar's a bit cheeky. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was all, yeah. That was all fun to, fun to do. I really, I really enjoyed yeah. the, the creative stuff for that one. That was, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. It... Is your favorite take a slice too? Before you go, favorite character. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wicked choice all right yeah okay. thanks so much thanks it was a good question. question all right hello not hey no oh can't hear you hello, hello. not hello no are you good Maybe there's a microphone. Well, we'll open. we'll ask on their behalf to get it started anyway. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> and then hopefully their mic will come back on. Uh, their yeah. question is: Are there any songs you've released that you uh, don't like anymore, or aren't as big of a fan of? That's a mean <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah. That a mean question. Um, oh, that's really hard to. Uh, I think there are things that like in re- if I did the if I did um sorry hiccups again if i did like want to record them again we do it differently um like there are things i i would want to change if we re-record them but i i don't think i would no you kind of like can't pick between the children eh? <laughs> you can't pick between the children i've said it before it's really it's it's impossible to pick mm-hmm. between the children but it's also I I think a song is like in an album as well. It's like a kind of moment in time. It's a kind of symbol, like a, I don't know. It's kind of what you can do in that moment. And it shouldn't be changed. So, yeah, I I think if I re-recorded some of those songs with the guys, we'd do things differently. But I like the fact that they're a a sort of snapshot of where we were at back then. Mm -hmm. Are there any I hate the most? Uh, no, no, I can't choose. No, oh, that's fair choose. enough. <laughs> it's a hard question, that one. Yeah, gooey. No, I'm kidding. I, just, <gasps> I, really, I really like. I like. Gooey, yeah. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just being silly. I uh, love them. Yeah, it's a tough I'll question. Bring in the next. Good one. question, but tough question. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, goose. Hey, goose. Hello, uh, my real name's Emily, not Goose. <laughs> hey, Emily. But, um, Goose is cool. Goose is pretty cool. But I've actually seen you live twice in Detroit, uh, the Dreamland tour, and when you came for Mopop, I was there. Oh, wicked. Those are both awesome. Yep. I no remember one. both those shows. So, I just, yeah, Detroit, yeah. Uh, the headline show was like the end of that tour. So, it was really, that was really cool. Yeah, fun. yeah. But, um, my question was, were you expecting Heat Waves to be the biggest song on Dreamland? Or did you expect a different song to blow up more? I um, I really liked it because it was quite personal. and um, I don't know. I like songs that are like, have a sadness to them, but um, also an optimism. And I thought it kind of did that. Mm-hmm. All right. So I was happy. I was like, and then I thought it was, I don't know. It's just, every, it's one of those songs that like, when you listen to it, it makes you kind of feel something. So I knew there was something in yeah. it. 
yeah um but i you can never tell you i it, you know it's such a personal song that maybe i was just feeling that because it's personal i didn't know how mm-hmm. anyone else was gonna was gonna feel about it yeah but i i did think there was something in it hmm. because of that i did think that maybe like because tangerine's a bit more upbeat and bouncy mm-hmm. i thought yeah. that might but that's you know that was just uh it's just not true that they're kind of bouncy song <laughs> uh is the favorite i actually i i personally even prefer i, I like a lot of sad songs yeah you know, they've got to be balanced out of course but mm-hmm. um yeah i didn't i didn't totally see it i thought it was too maybe too sad but i did think mm. i did think it was i don't know there was something in it at the same time mm-hmm. i wouldn't i wouldn't have put money on it <laughs> <laughs> yeah he waves or uh your love are probably my top picks for dreamland Oh, wicked! Uh, yeah, that's that's. Yeah. I mean, they're good choices. Yeah. Um, but heat waves, heat waves is always a kind of personal favorite. I just didn't know if anyone else was going to like it. <laughs> what about uh, like how to be a human being? Did you expect any of those songs to really get big? Uh no. I mean, you never really expect songs to get big. It's it's hard to. Mm-hmm. It's hard to say. Sometimes you kind of think like, oh, that one's like quite. That one's quite catchy, a bit of an earworm. So maybe it will. I don't know, maybe people will like it, but... Mm-hmm. You, I never expect it. Because my, my favourites are usually ones that are... F- they're kind of favourites for a personal personal reason. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Right. Awesome. I'm, about, I'm, I'm not the right person to choose. <laughs> choose a single or anything yeah. like that. All right, well. We're coming to the... Uh end of the normal questions so we'll move on so we can still get a couple more in before we cool. get to the uh battle sure. players. i can stay a little bit extra as well if, if we need to okay all right oh, yeah hello. oh hello until woody until woody starts getting fed up <laughs> yeah if you, if you can just give us a uh, five minute warning so we can do the rapid fire questions uh, oh yeah cool yeah cool. Uh, and then um, we'll be good then all right awesome all right you'll probably hear him he'll start like <laughs> yeah. yeah going <laughs> All right, well, hello. Um, hey. 3 a.m. for me, too, so I do kind of have to be quiet. Um, okay. But I'll, I'll keep my little thing before my question very short. Um, <laughs> I, I've been a fan for the longest time. I only got to see you guys live this past um, July. Oh, and wicked. It was, it was so incredible. I got, like, a main character moment in your love because I have blue hair. That was amazing. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, love everything. Um, Wait, which Michael, show was it? Oh, it was um the Sunday one. Oh, it's wicked! Sunday. Yeah, yeah, wicked! That was an amazing show. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was so much fun to be at. <laughs> My question is: If you could choose one animal that you think best represents like all the vibes of Zaba, what would it be? Whoa, that's a tough question. Um, it's quite like night timey, I think. Well, some, but yeah, it's kind of night timey and a bit shy. Maybe um, an owl. Ooh. But maybe it would have to be like a hybrid animal, like a owl with like frog hands. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> yeah, I think that or maybe that's it. Maybe it's an yeah, <laughs> an owl with frog hands and like. A monkey's tail. That is incredible. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> and a unicorn horn. I don't know. Now I'm going to stop turning into a real monster. <laughs> Good question, though. Yeah, thank I like you for it. the question. Unique. <laughs> Unique. It got me thinking. Hey, Hello. how's it going? Yeah, really good. Thanks. How are you? Oh. Oh, well, you, oh, you've been picked. Um, oh, I always try and find someone with blue hair.
Oh, wow. Um, what of the word? Oh, that's cool. That, uh, that's, I mean, that's a really good question. It feels like it's been so long since I've uh, spoken about those Zabba songs, but Pools is getting a lot of love today. Um, that song is, it's basically about like, I don't know, kind of finding your happy place, um, as far as I remember. Ah, wicked. I'd love to see it if you if you finish it. But it's I guess it's about I mean, I don't want to ruin if you have an idea. The thing is, is everyone interprets their songs different, interprets songs differently. And I never want to like step on anyone's toes. But for me, it's about like naivety and um, sort of embracing that. And yeah, finding a bit of happiness in that. Oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe think of, like, um, maybe, maybe you can incorporate your, like, happy spot into it. Or just think of a moment that you, I don't know. It's kind of thinking of a moment where I was like, oh, actually, this is really, like, this is, that was a really happy, it's kind of painting a picture of something that was just, like, a great moment. Um, and you didn't really have anything to worry about. That might be maybe I don't know. See if you, if you can maybe f do something with that. Oh, yeah. wicked! Oh well, please send it over when you've. Uh... That'd be wicked. I hope it goes well. Have fun. That's the main thing. That's yeah, awesome. Thing. Thanks that was for a really question. great question. Yes. From Cherry Soda. They'd like it to be asked on their behalf as well. Oh, okay. Um how how did you start Glass Animals? Um they, I guess, I guess it one sort of history. <laughs> yeah, I've sort of touched on it earlier, but I was just like I was at um at uni and I was just where the do doing a bit of late night DJing to make some yeah it's just for fun and to make a little mm -hmm. pocket money and then um I would get home and be totally wired usually because I'd had like some coffee so I could stay awake while I did play some music um and I would get home wouldn't be able to sleep but everyone else would be asleep so I didn't really have anyone to interact with in those moments so I just started tinkering around with music I always loved music and uh I always kind of wanted to make music, but I never, I don't know, never really made my own. And I thought it'd be fun. Started tinkering did, around uh, and that was the beginning. Did any of the other uh, of the band members come to your like DJing gigs back in the day? Or were I've... they never really involved in that? Drew came to one once. Oh, yeah. what a legend. Drew came... <laughs> I mean, we've all been <laughs> friends for so long. Drew, yeah. Drew came to one and um, I think got incredibly drunk and had a great time <laughs> of course <laughs> awesome um but yeah and i don't know i don't remember if anyone i don't think anyone else did just mm -hmm. really i it was it wasn't i wasn't really i didn't really advertise it to be honest yeah <laughs> i was it was a little i was a little embarrassed and shy well ended up for the best anyway <laughs> oh it was all right yeah somehow it ended up here good question right. Hey, Hello, Dexter. Dexter. Oh, are we having mic issues? No. Oh, no, no. It seems like we might be. Is it what? Is it? Oh, what? Yeah, we'll just do what we did before then. And then if oh, the mic a... fixes itself, they can... Ooh. Cool. 
Oh, oh, I had something. I hang a few things. <gasps> Are they good? You there, Dexter? No. no. Okay. Oh, um. No. Well, the the question is, what's a weird word that you repeat for zero reason at all? Oh my gosh. Um. Uh. <laughs> um. I do. I repeat a lot of words at Woody. Um. I don't know what he. <laughs> this is going to be so embarrassing. I I. Woody. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe I'm saying this. I call I call him Fart Boy sometimes because he he, <laughs> <laughs> he has quite bad gas for a little thing. Um, so I do end up repeating that one a lot, and I have a little uh, song that goes with it that I am not going to sing. Um, oh, for you, <laughs> um, <laughs> understandable, understandable. <laughs> uh, but I do. I also I repeat that, and I repeat Woody as just a lot. I have a little song for woody as well woody 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 and um i'm always walking around saying that mm, and... i think we all sing to our pets a little bit <laughs> yeah it's embarrassing yeah. isn't it yeah it's embarrassing. <laughs> and i have i have this like weird obsession with um there's a song and i didn't even know what the song was until quite recently it's a belinda carlisle song called heaven is a place on earth does anyone know that song it's like a old jam yeah from... Like, heard it definitely on like TVs 80s. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I used to just have this like, well, I still do have this obsession with the uh, the opening of that song. It's like, ooh, baby, na 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 na. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't actually know what the lyrics are, so I just walk around going, <laughs> ooh, you baby, na 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 na. That and I, um, you can ask any of the guys. I do that pretty much all day, every day. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Let's see if the next person has more luck with their microphone. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Um, gosh, I did not expect to get picked. So, <laughs> oh. question. I think some of it you might have already answered, but how hard did you find it to like get big in the music industry? Because with like heat waves. As you said, you didn't really expect that to get big, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it it still feels a it's still a strange thing to think about. Um it's and it still doesn't feel like I don't know, people always say like, uh you're it, it's big now and I I never really know what that means. I don't know, it still doesn't feel big to me. It still feels like the kind of little thing that it always was just sitting in, and, and until we're on stage and then we're like, oh my God, there are actually a lot of people here. Um, but how hard was it? Was that the question? Yeah. And like, do you have any tips for, say I'm in a band myself, do you have any tips for like oh, how you? to kind of, you know, get better? Because obviously you've had a massive success and I really, I look up to you a lot. So. Uh, I mean, there's uh, a lot of, hard work and like focus and uh kind of learning about what you i don't know learning about what music you want to make i guess um and trying to make that music and not like copy something else i think is quite important Mm. um yeah, I, 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 trusting your kind of gut instinct, I think, is very important. There's a lot, there's a lot of hard work in that sense, and kind of working out how to write, you know, how to write a song and how to craft a song. It's a lot of work in that. There's also a lot of luck. I'll be completely honest. I think there's, there's a bit of kind of right place, right time. In yeah, in just in like it worked out for you, so just like it worked out. That, so yeah, yeah, and you find the, the right people at the right time. And mm. um, someone hears, you know, our manager Amy kind of found the found the music and gave us so much advice and help when we were just starting, and we were we were lucky to find to find her. To be honest, just 
total stroke of luck. Yeah, so just I I'll, think... I'll go. But I'll go. Yeah, we like, won't... Keep doing what you do because it's amazing, you know. Oh, thanks. Yeah, just, just yeah. Make make music that you love. That's the most important thing. Make something that you you like because that don't try it. Don't try and second guess what other people are going to like. I think mm. that's really important. All right, we got the next question in. Good question. Oh, that's from Flo. Oh, Hi. hey, Flo. Hello. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Again, I'm so anxious. It's so good to finally see, to talk to you, because, like, I've been trying to talk to you back in Washington, but, like, I wasn't allowed, and uh, I asked Maydee to, like, oh, no, wait, Maydee asked me to, like, deliver the gifts to you, and then, like, uh, and then it goes like that, and then I have to go home <laughs> early, and my friend, Molly, managed to meet you instead. I was like, what? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, oh, so I'm, uh, I try to say hi to as many people as possible. Oh, it's always really <laughs> nice to meet everybody, but it's um sometimes sometimes after show, like sometimes my mum is there, sometimes sometimes my brother's there, yeah, and I have to yeah. see them too. Okay, so speaking about gifts, I'm gonna ask. Uh, you receive a lot of gifts, right? And you got it a lot from your fans, and I wanna ask. Which gift is your absolute favorite or dearest to you, and why? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's, I can't, that's that's really hard. That's again like choosing a favorite, a f- yeah, favorite <laughs> child. Um, I'm given a couple amazing. I mean, I'm just. I need to go look next door because that there's like a there are a couple of gifts that I really love that I kind of leave around the studio. One of them oh. is the Pez dispenser. I love that. Pez dispenser. Um, yeah, I think with uh, each of the guys' heads on. I really love those. And it's... Um, what else do I... I've been given some amazing cereals from around the world. Always great. Yeah. Rich. Tiny Dave, I love. I was given some cereal from Thailand the other day that I thought was delicious. It was some kind of crazy animal themed cereal. It was really, it was oh, really yummy. So hey, Tiny Dave. Tiny Dave, yeah. <laughs> oh. I love that one. Um, I've, there's loads. PhD, fe- no, uh, yeah, like people's feces, feces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love, I love that. Um, what else are people giving me? Socks, <laughs> got lots of socks. Someone gave me some soap with some LSD in once. I didn't ever use that one, but it was, a, it was interesting. Oh, that's wonky. <laughs> yeah, it's very wonky. Um, I was someone. I got a raincoat. I love that one. That's so fancy. Whoops, my AC. Um, someone made a pillow of Woody. I love that too. He loves oh, it. Oh yeah, I remember that Woody pillow. Yeah, there's so there's so many. I'd have to make a big list. Um, but <laughs> you know what? You know what might be my actual favorite was that there was a recreation of the Dreamland music video that was made by a lot of people, um, and they everyone kind of filmed themselves in their uh, Dreamland set that they'd made themselves and I thought that was so creative and so amazing and it makes me a bit emotional when I think about it. Wonderful. Yeah, I remember hearing that. It was actually yeah. like really uh... Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Ah, oh, all the I mean there's so there's so much amazing art and so many amazing drawings. The Uno the Uno cards, those are so good. I love those ones. Yeah those the Where's ones... Woody. Oh the Where's Woody one. Oh. It was such a delight um, to me with Nina. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Nina's made me that amazing book with loads of messages in. I love that. There's so much I could go on forever now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. Okay. Thank you so much, Dave. I'm gonna give others the chance. Thank you so what? much, guys. Thanks, Fo. That was a good Bye question. Sir. The All Dreamland. Right, the someone's question. asking if the, if we actually signed the Dreamland albums we sold. We actually signed every single one of them. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it was. No, that took it, a while. It <laughs> took several days. 
Yeah. Actually. I remember <laughs> seeing like a photo of I think Joe crawling on the floor just like signing a bunch of cards mm-hmm. or yeah, something. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that, that is crazy. what it is. <laughs> We actually had we kind of put the our rehearsal spaces in this like freezing cold warehouse in South London. We just laid laid them all on the floor one by one, and it kind of went down signing them all. And I think it took. <laughs> I have a photo of it somewhere. I'll try and find it and put it in the yeah. chat or something, right. and I'll, they, I'll post it on on right. Instagram or something. The like. next question, uh, one they want us to read it for them. Uh, so it's from Wallace. And their question is, what are your top three favorite dinosaurs? Oh, pterodactyl. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really like Stegosaurus. Is all the ones mm. that don't eat meat? Uh, the Brontosauruses? The ones with the long yeah, necks? Brontosaurus. Yeah. What's yeah. the... Uh... Stegosauruses are the ones with the uh, pointy bits on their back. Yeah, I quite like Triceratops. Diplodocus mm. is cool because it's got spikes. Oh, yeah. Things. I mean, mm. that's a cool one. All very good choices. <laughs> yeah, th- I think those are my favorites. Mm. The good ones picks, with big picks. teeth freak me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calm dinosaurs. Calm dinosaurs. But yeah, maybe pterodactyl. Mm. It's pretty oh, cool. Hi, Dave. No, oh, stop hey. back to back. <laughs> hey. I hope you can. Hear me properly, because I've been eating peanut butter straight from the jar, so... <laughs> yes! If I sound a little clogged up, that's why. Oh, uh, that's good. No, I appreciate that. I totally understand. I've been there many times. Yeah, I, I figured. That's why I took the chance. Um, my question was, because most of all your albums so far are really concept-based, um, and I was wondering, what do you usually come up first? Is it like the idea of the concept for the album, or do you have an idea for a song or a sound first, and then the concept comes afterwards? Oh, that is a, I mean, that's a good question. I actually, I quite like having a sort of concept and idea first. Um, it, it's kind of a tool for, like, it makes writing a bit easier I think when you have a sort of general sense of themes and ideas that you want to tackle and actually when I when I do that when I have the general like theme and idea and concept I write down everything that I can imagine that has to do with that that concept and including movies TV shows books uh ev- everything you can imagine paintings the whole lot and i kind of do a lot of like research and try and absorb it all um listen to other songs that were made in that vein and do a load of research and then i uh then i start writing with all that kind of like digested so yeah the concept sort of comes first but there's always a little bit of you know quite often you aim for a like you kind of choose a concept and idea you aim for a and you think you're going to write an album about um I don't know what it means to be uh, uh like with yeah you kind of think what maybe you're going to write an album about uh one thing and then you end up kind of at B you end up doing something slightly different you kind of veer off to one side as you're as you're making the album if you see what I mean yeah no that makes sense yeah you kind of think like I, I think that kind of happened like for how to be a hum- be a human being might be a good example of that where I like I really thought I was writing an album about other people and that was the <laughs> that was the goal but then you sort of realize that you've actually been writing about what you most relate to in those other people and you've actually sort of ended up writing something that's weirdly personal and that's why it was nice to kind of end with Agnes that is like a directly personal song mm-hmm. I don't know you can try for one thing and you sometimes find yourself going down a slightly different path. That makes sense. I also think it comes natural to just kind of recognize the bits in other people that you relate to yourself. Um, I think so. so I can see how, how that happened. Either way, I'm a big fan of how every album you guys have made so far is a concept in and of itself. Uh, Oh, and I think a, a lot yeah. of us uh, like that about you guys and your music. So thank you for that, oh. I guess. No, I'm glad. So I mean, some people 
probably hate that, but I I find it a good a good tool at least. Um, thanks. I'm really glad that people people like that. I'm excited to excited about the next concept. Hi. Um, hey. I wanted to ask, what was the moment you realized that you made it big? <laughs> I mean, that's that's a tough question because I don't know. Like, uh, I, it's hard to define. What does that? I don't ever know what that means. But I, I don't know what it means. It's it's hard. That's a hard question to answer. I'm trying to think. I guess people have different definitions of what like big means, don't they? Whereas, I don't know, my my definition is, and probably, I don't know, will always be that we can kind of to make a career out of it. And this is our jobs now. And we can hopefully keep making more albums. And I guess I sort of realized that, like... I don't know. It's still, it's still sinking in. I've never taken that for granted as well because music, music is quite fickle, you know. I feel very, very lucky that we get to keep making albums, keep making music. But I think it kind of landed that maybe we'll be able to keep doing this as a job for a long time after, I mean, probably after Heat Waves, to be honest. <laughs> after, yeah, this, this, after Dreamland did, uh, did well and a lot of that really sank in when we started doing live shows uh yeah it kind of came out in the pandemic and we really couldn't see any you know couldn't see any people um so it was, it was you know, just releasing an album into i don't know almost it almost felt like silence it was, it was pretty strange and then all of a sudden we started playing live shows and there were loads of people there and it was wonderful um, i got to see in kansas yeah. city so amazing oh that was absolutely like that was absolutely incredible i couldn't believe that show Such and then an night. never forget it i want to know what's your favorite flavor of birthday cake Wait, is it what is there different flavors of birthday cake i thought birthday what? cake like was a flavor but <laughs> i don't know no i like i like a chocolate cake I'll be honest, but not too. I have, I have a. Th- when I eat chocolate cake, I quite often take off the icing and just eat the cakey bit. Me too. So that's my that's my favorite bit is just the cake bit of the cake, not the icing, but ch- chocolate. Right, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, <laughs> right. question. We'll uh, get the good questions. In. We'll do another couple and then move on to the rapid fire, so you can still get on and uh, well. Feed Woody and all that. Apparently. Yeah, he's looking at me now. He's looking <laughs> yeah. at me. It's like literally a matter of time line. before he gets up. Yeah. He's hello. Yeah, we'll we'll do another couple questions, then move hello. on. Hello. <laughs> and hello. This is so crazy. Hi. Hey, how's it um, going? I'm doing so good. I'm currently hiding from my professors at school to be here, so very excited about that. <laughs> oh. Good um, hiding. Well done. Yeah, I'm I'm not at art school, so I'm just like there's like a nice little quarter that's all fancy with like art and like projects and stuff, so I'm just hiding. But anyways, um <laughs> my question is, do you know if slash when the next tour episode diary thing will be uploaded soon? Um I was interviewed right before the Milwaukee concert for that and I was just wondering if there was any oh. chance of that being uploaded somewhere. There are a couple tour diaries lying around. Um, that is a good, that's a good point. It's t- I'm really bad. At, <laughs> I'm really bad at social media. Um, but uh, that's a good question. I'll have a look at that. <laughs> okay. I imagine. I imagine. Um, we do have a little like plan to start posting that stuff. Because after the basically last year got so hectic, right? By the end of it, um, we were just kind of doing what we could to like finish the year, and now into the new year, we're we're gonna I'm gonna start looking doing social media again. I took a little break, took a little break, but yeah, don't worry. There's a plan. There's a plan. Or there Love will it. be a plan. Thank you so I much. Should say. There will be a plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank yeah, you. Awesome. Yeah. 
Good question. Air of chicken. Were you posting pictures? <laughs> were you posting pictures of you and your family in the in the chat earlier? I didn't know if that was your family. I assumed it was. If so, you guys were an amazing presence at the shows wearing uh, matching well, t-shirts. It was incredible. Uh, we'll see if they get their mic working. Uh, they they just mute. You're just muted on Discord. You can unmute yourself with a. Okay, okay. 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 So I could literally right. hear a teacher talking. <laughs> we'll ask the question, which is uh what's your favorite concert that you've performed at? That's a, that's such a hard question. Oh, I can't choose. Um I'm gonna say all of them. Mm, I like no, I like them all for different mm. reasons. They're different vibes. Sometimes they're yeah. really tough. Like Alexandra uh-huh. Palace, that was a really hard venue. It's really hard to hear yourself in there, so it was quite so stressful. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. I can hear. I can hear your teacher lecturer yeah. in the background. Get the Very teacher funny. to ask the question instead. It'll be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, no, I really, I really enjoy them all. To be completely honest. I, I do have a mm-hmm. fun time all of them sometimes sometimes they're tough and during the concert i get quite like it's it's tricky you, you're like really 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 have to focus so you don't really yeah. appreciate it till afterwards mm-hmm. um but yeah they've all they've all been amazing i'm trying to think of particularly good ones there have been some really wonderful festivals over mm. last summer i guess i really missed festivals during the uh during yeah. the lockdown and I will say that those first shows back after lockdown were something else. Like, there was just like something in the in the yeah, air. Yeah, something in the air about it. Because mm-hmm. everybody was coming back from lockdown and it, it, people were being really careful about when they went out. So they were really selective about the shows that they went to. So was, mm-hmm. there was just such an incredible energy at all of those shows. Yeah. Was- I hope you don't mind, but we asked your question, but you can still feel free to say it. Just don't do, be too long, because we're going to move on to the uh, rapid fires. In oh, we're going to do some... uh, Yeah, feel free. What animal is my favorite animal? Woody is my favorite animal. <laughs> no, I I've, I was asking myself the same question the other day. And I settled. This is probably going to change from day to day, but I settled on maybe a chameleon. Oh, wow. Can you tell me what the animals were quickly? You guys made me see because you guys were like, <laughs> you guys were the whole family kind of dancing. 
the same ge- dancing genetics kind of move um, the whole time. It's so, so good. All sorts of pine. You had a little pineapple antenna. You had everything. Well, you got to say hi to the whole family time. for me, though. No. You're going totally busted right now. Yeah, we're going uh, to move on to the speech stuff now. So, uh, me and Spark will take turns uh, reading them out. So, oh, yep. okay, all right. I'm warm myself up for yeah, this. get ready for it. <laughs> yeah, get get ready. They're gonna be coming at you quick. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm ready. You ready, Woody? Favorite ready. cartoon growing up. Favorite cartoon growing up, uh, probably Rugrats or Hey Arnold or Dragon. I like Dragon Ball Z as well or SpongeBob. Mm. It's SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Okay, okay. Uh, favorite album era? It's favorite album ever? Uh, or era? Er- era. Like uh, from your guys' Oh, uh, like. Uh, I mean, it's got a bit. Oh, did you just hear Woody? He's up. Did you... <laughs> he <just> went, <laughs> oh. um, it's got to be Dreamland. The last couple of years have been absolutely mm. amazing. Awesome. All right. Favorite Jewish food? Favorite Jewish matzo ball soup. Mm. My mum used uh. to make it for me. Mm. Uh, what's your favorite yeah. kind of house plant? Favorite house plant? I used to really like uh, cheese plants because they're pretty easy and beautiful. Um, palm trees are very hard to take care of, so they're not my favorite, but I do love them. Mm-hmm. But now I've kind of—I don't know—I've kind of been getting into into uh, um, cactuses lately, and I've been getting into evergreens. I'm really into it just because they smell so good. They do. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. Uh, most underappreciated glass animal song. Most, I mean, we talked about take a slice earlier. I, mm. I don't know. I've got, I, yeah. I've got a soft spot yeah, for take fair. a slice. I've mm-hmm. got a soft spot for that one. Uh, do but you have a also fa- pre-made sandwiches? Oh yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> do, you, do you have a favorite emoji? Favorite emoji. Mm. Um, or melon and the coconut. I really like that one actually. Favorite emoji is. Um, I Woody. Yeah, I use the dog emoji a lot because I've got this this kid. Um, <laughs> and I reckon I'm trying to look. Uh, I use the uh the I I use a combination of two emojis. Oh, this is this is gonna make me sound disgusting again, but I I use the elephant with the kind of zooming puff of. A little farting elephant, it, yeah. As if it's as if it's <laughs> farting, yeah. Very so, good, very um, good. I'm disgusting and ashamed, but that is what's the what's the worst fact. cereal? The worst cereal is yeah. um corn pop. Has anyone had corn pops? Mm, it's pretty niche. It's an American one. It's not very. It's not very good. Oh, um, <laughs> it's oh, you know what's real? I actually, people are gonna hate me for this. Raisin bran. That's understandable. That's some controversial. People love um, some people love it. I think it's as it's cardboard with raisins in, and I don't even like raisins. I also don't like muesli <laughs> that has too many raisins in. If muesli has too many raisins in, no, mm-hmm. I throw that throw that away. Uh, what's your favorite soup? <laughs> I feel like it might favorite be soup. soup. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a mass. No, I think my favorite soup because I grew up in Massachusetts, so it's probably clam chowder. I love mm. clam chowder. Mm. Yeah, I love a chowder. Any kind of chowder. What's your favorite <laughs> color? Favorite color is, um, I reckon, a sort of. Uh, I can't, I mean, I really liked Dreamland era purple. That was a good choice. I like that. But I do change yeah, every couple of years. Nice. Yeah, I uh, used to like, you can probably tell by the album covers, but like mm-hmm. it was kind of teal color for Zabba, and then I kind of moved to like a kind of orangey, ready thing, and then I kind mm-hmm. of moved to purple. I'm still on purple. 
If you had the chance mm. to go to space, would you go? Uh, I I would. I mean, there's, there's a lot to think about there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a lot to think about. Would I? Is there any risk of death? Is it environmentally friendly? Mm -hmm. Um, if there was no little risk of death and it was environmentally friendly, I'd probably do it. But a lot of the people, yeah. I, yeah. I love I love space. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite Shrek movie? My favorite Shrek movie, probably Shrek. I mean, it's got to be Shrek One, the original Shrek. That classic, yeah. Yeah, it's where it all started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I feel, feel like we're going to know the answer to this, but what's your favorite dog breed? Uh, whatever Woody is. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's got, he's got a bit of Jack Russell Terrier in him. Which is mm -hmm. like I think they're really sweet. They're really cheeky. Yeah. Um, they have a lot of bloody energy. Don't you, fat boy? What's the What's the instrument you can't live without? Ooh, that is a good question too. I have a guitar that I've used on pretty much every song. Um, it's it was a really cheap guitar. It cost a couple of pounds from a market. When I was, uh, where is it? I don't. It was just here. Um, yeah, when I was, it's one of the first guitars I ever got. I got given a guitar by my cousin, and then that got stolen. So I bought this one as a replacement for like five pounds. It's got little oh, wow. animal stickers on it. <laughs> it's, Love that. So yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit of a weird guitar. That is the instrument I can't live without. I love it. Okay, so uh, what's the worst color? What's the worst color? Mm hmm. Hmm. Maybe, like, I don't, I'm, I don't love beige. I think that's, mm. yeah. Pretty boring colour, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty boring. <laughs> Some people say Woody's beige. You're not beige, though. You're, you're kind of a ginger strawberry dream, I'd say, Woody. Mm. All right. Uh, turtlenecks or sweatervists? <laughs> this is a tough question, actually. Um, I would say turtlenecks because it's very cold outside. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Dreamland remix? Oh no, I can't choose. I really love the Shaka uh, uh, Ahmed one. Oh yeah. I just think um, it's awesome. The story, the, like the yeah. I just love. I just. Love this, yeah, where it came from. Like, it's just totally caught me off guard. I remember listening to it for the first time, really love it. But there's so many good ones, there's so many yeah. good ones. <laughs> it's really, yeah, it's what's really your, impossible to choose. What's your favorite movie at the moment? Favorite movie at the moment is possibly I really like Up. I think that's an incredible movie. Yeah, that's a classic. It's an absolute classic. I think that's one of my favorites. I also really like um, 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's pretty, mm. it's pretty, it's weird, but I like it. Yeah. yeah I like that movie. <laughs> uh, favorite type of sock, as in like ankle, knee, no show, or uh, short? <laughs> I don't like the short ones because they always roll down and get around your toes. Mm -hmm. um, mm. So I find them a bit annoying. So I'm going to go for a kind of standard ankle sock. Um, yeah, right in the middle. Yeah. Stays on, not too high. Good choice, That's good choice. Respectable. Uh, what's uh, M&M's, yay or nay? Yay. I really like crunchy M&M's. Are those the blue ones? Um, yeah, yes, I think they, I think yeah, they are blue. Yeah, I love those ones. Uh, recommend one song. One song? Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to go with, um, hold on. You know what? I'm going to look at my, I've got a Spotify playlist. Um, there's a song that I heard the other day called, it's quite an old song called At 17 by Janice Ian. I really liked that one. I thought that was really good. Have to make sure and then I've, I've been listening to the, the new Tovlo album. I quite enjoyed. I was listening to that recently. And there's a guy called Jim Legacy that I thought was pretty good, quite new. 
Um, and I've been listening to what else have I been listening to? A lot of old songs. Listen to this song called by the Stone Ponies called Different Drum. You would have heard it. It's catchy. Oh yeah. And um, over and over by Bobby Vinton. I've been listening to a lot of old songs. All right. Um, what's your favorite music genre? Favorite music genre. Oh, yeah. I would say. I mean, at the moment, I'm really enjoying that kind of uh, that older, like, interest. I don't know how to explain it. That old, like, seventies thing, like Janice Ian. I was really liking mm-hmm. that that kind of thing lately. I love it. Oh, Woody just bumped his head. Sorry, bud. Oh. Come here. No, <laughs> you're like an okay. actual child sometimes, Woody. <laughs> um, but I, I literally listen to to everything. Um, mm-hmm. I think you'll see why those songs I just recommended. That's uh-huh. literally ev- a like bit of everything in there. Yeah, a bit um, of everything in there. Milk before cereal, or cereal before milk. That that's not a question. That it is cereal before the milk. If you do the other way around, that's some... you're a woman. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I totally agree I, on um, that. Need to. I'm sorry, but I don't know if we can talk. <laughs> um, it's all right. It's all right. What's your go-to McDonald's order? Oh wow! That you know what? This this is probably gonna put me in. I haven't had McDonald's in a long time because the last time I ate there, I got food poisoning. Um, oh, awful. Yeah, really bad. So I th- I haven't eaten there in a really... Like, the last time I ate there was maybe nine years ago. No, maybe a bit less than that. Maybe like eight years ago. But I got really bad food poisoning and I haven't been back since. I used to just get a double cheeseburger. Can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it, but I, I did go wrong with it. Um yeah, <laughs> and really then back then, so yeah. Um, yeah. What was your favorite school subject? My favorite school subject was, you know, what I actually quite liked math, maths, as they say. I did it. I I don't know why I liked it, but I liked it, and I quite liked English. But when we were doing the kind of creative stuff, mm. yeah. Um. I think that's. I don't think anyone actually likes maths, but I did. Yeah, it was pretty nice. It can be quite relaxing, you know. There's always a weird didn't. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't like music that much. Strangely, really. Yeah, I think uh, I just yeah. had a teacher that I didn't. I didn't get on with that well. That was it. It's amazing how much a teacher can change. Yeah, for sure. Your opinion of something, and I had a really sweet, a sweet math teacher, a really sweet English teacher growing up. All right. Uh, favorite song instrumental that you've made? Whoa, tough one. Uh, um, I think the instrumental for Hot Sugar is probably it's. I I like that one a lot because there's a lot going on in it. I don't know if it's my favorite. It's hard again. It's hard to choose a favorite, but that mm-hmm. one has. That I always listen. When I when I hear it, I'm like, oh, there's actually quite a lot going on in the in the music mm-hmm. here, and then it kind of completely flips upside down about halfway through. Yeah, it's a strange one. All right, awesome. And so, last one is sweet or spicy food. Oh, don't make me choose. I'm really I'm really into spicy food at the moment, but oh, I think it's just because yeah. it's cold outside. Yeah, it warms you up. I, I love both. I love both. <laughs> All food. I'm just a food. Gosh, I bit of a much. foodie. I'm a massive foodie. Love that. I don't even know if a foodie is the right word because that implies a sort of like snobbishness. Nah. Like, I'll, I'll eat an- anything. Yeah. Any- if you put <laughs> something in front of me, I'll eat it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's it. All right. Snobby. Wow. Well, that uh, that wraps up all that... the questions. So oh, we'll let you guys, head on out so of here. Much fun that was really really fun um thank you so much for making it so like streamlined and organized Mm -hmm. i had 
it's such a good time and i hope we can do it some like at some different because i know we don't cover all time zones um and it's we'll, we'll have to get you on for that marathon for some people oh yeah we'll yeah, have to do that marathon <laughs> talking about that'd a 24 hour discord marathon yeah um, be let's do incredible. it lots of coffee but yeah. thank you guys <laughs> so much it was awesome and yes um if you ever want to do it again let us know yeah we'll could. be in yeah, absolutely Maybe I'll Thanks bring us. I'll try and bring someone else next time. Bring Drew or something. Oh, uh, I think everyone would. Yeah, love that. <laughs> we'd love to have some of the others. Yeah, we do get there. questions about like if it will just be you or uh, Drew or someone else would be coming. So that'd be amazing. That'd be yeah. really fun. That'd be really fun. Mm-hmm. But thanks again, guys. And um, yeah, just lovely to speak to everyone. After it feels like it's been too long. I'll do it uh-huh. more often. Hi, right, awesome. Awesome. Thank you, uh, thank right, you everyone cheers, for submitting yeah, been... your questions and thank you for all uh, yeah, chatting and everything. So it's been amazing. Awesome. It's been amazing. Yeah. Bye everybody. Have good evenings, mornings, days, yes. everything. Um, bye bye. Happy peanut peanut butter day. Bye. Yes. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye bye.